Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are obviously continuing to talk about everything football, everything transfer related this summer and much, much more. Before we do start the video, make sure you go down, leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it, make sure you subscribe and also click the little bell button if you do want notifications. It really helps me out uh, just because the sub boxes are broken and it helps my videos get to you if you're interested in them. So anyway, let's get into today's topic, which is Arsenal Football Club and their potential new signings of the summer transfer window this season. So, whoo! Alexandra Lacazette, mate. He is a bit of a good player. Now let's let's have a look at his record real quickly. That is that is pretty impressive. That is a very very impressive record. And if you ask me, this this transfer potentially should have been done already last season. I would say I think a lot of Arsenal fans would probably agree with that. Um, I think last season they missed a the trick in the transfer window. They made a couple of signings. Like Xhaka, bit aggressive but decent player. Uh, Perez, who played like 11 games this season, scored one goal, might be on his way out of Arsenal now. Lacazette was the guy they should have signed last season, in my opinion. I'm sure, like I said, in many of uh, you Arsenal fans' op opinions as well, I should say. But of course, we are we, we can't talk about the past. Let's talk about the current and, and the fact that it's actually happening. So supposedly, it's, it can go up to a £45 million uh, fee. And supposedly it's happening today. I'm recording this on Wednesday. By the time I'm recording, it hasn't been announced. But I mean, I've, I've got Twitter open. Let me just double check. Has it been announced? Nope, hasn't been announced yet. So basically, no, nothing confirmed yet. But I mean, this is this is going to be confirmed supposedly according to multiple news sources today at some point or, you know, in the coming days at some point. He's done his medical already. It's a £45 million move or that's what it could potentially rise to, which I think I'm pretty sure I read is a club record, which is, which shows some ambition for Arsenal. And hopefully they're finally moving out of this. I mean, we already thought they were a couple of seasons ago, but they're finally moving out of this, um, paying off their debts for building this new stadium and not winning so many trophies while they do it. But I mean, full respect to Arsene Wenger. I know he divides Arsenal fans' appearance, uh, opinions, I should say. But I mean, you've got, you got to respect him. He's the Frenchman. He's, he's brought in a Frenchman. He's got a two-year extension on his contract, whether fans like it or not. So, I mean, it does seem like a good match. Um, I'm actually quite surprised that Lacazette didn't move for Champions League football, but I suppose that he would probably leave the club potentially I don't know if Arsenal didn't achieve Premier League football next uh, sorry Champions League football next season but if we do take a look at this squad that potentially could be going into the season sort of the strongest starting 11 here look how incredible this looks with just sort of one signing or you know one or two signings with uh, Lacazette and then Kalasanac. I think I've said his name right there uh, as well already Arsenal are just looking so much stronger and I mean, this is this is just a potential lineup. I do understand, obviously, in a season where you're competing for a, a Europa League, the, the Premier League, and two domestic cups as well, you are going to need a deeper squad, sort of 25, 26 players maybe, and you need to, you're going to need to chop and change things and allow things for injuries. But this is just what I have sort of idealistically sort of drafted as their as their sort of best start in eleven on paper, based on form and quality of players and a few other things. And then if we look at the bench, also the bench would be very very strong for Arsenal at the moment as well if we were going into the season right now we do also have to consider that we're not including players here like Coquelin, Iwobi, Cazorla, Gibbs, uh, Giroud, Chambers, Perez, Gabriel, Debushi and, and like the list goes on you know at Pom players like that they're just not considered in this starting 11 and subs here but I mean a few of those potentially might go a few of them have been linked with moves away like uh, Perez potentially to Deportivo even uh, who I put in the starting 11 Oxlade Chamberlain so I mean maybe if Mares came in that would pave the way for Oxlade Chamberlain to leave because I mean they're already a fair few wingers in the in the in the team like Walcott, Iwobi, Welbeck can play out wide and players like that but I mean just for argument's sake let's just change that let's take Oxlade out and put Mares in it's pot potentially Potentially even looking stronger but one thing I have noticed potentially with the amount of sort of players and the types of players that have been linked with moves away from Arsenal a lot of them have been English players people like Jenkinson Chambers Gibbs Oxlade Chamberlain even Walcott and if some of these players were to go they would then be at risk Arsenal of breaking that rule of eight homegrown sort of English players in your starting uh, squad or like 23 man squad or whatever the you know 25 man squad or whatever the Premier League consider it as so that's something to look out for you would probably say then that for some of the outgoings that Arsenal might see it's probably less likely to be too many English players maybe only one or two and I mean if you kept Sanchez and kept Ozil and kept Oxlade Chamberlain. I think that Arsenal really, really do stand a chance of winning the league this season. But uh, let me know what you think down below about everything we've talked about in this video about the signing of Lacazette. Is he good enough to win Arsenal the league next season? Is he good to cement, even if it's, a, it's sort of like a top two, top three sort of challenge? 
do you think that Lacazette is the guy? Because I definitely do. So yeah, guys, let me know all your opinions about Arsenal down below. Make sure you drop a comment. Make sure, like I said at the beginning, if you do enjoy the video, you like and subscribe to stick around for all kinds of football content coming this summer and beyond and all sorts of FIFA 18 content and stuff like that. Uh, make sure you do like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Other than that, I'll see you next time. And wait, there's a video right here where we talk about some more football lark. So basically, just click on it if you fancy sticking around and seeing what other discussions we're mustering up on the channel. Thank you guys. Sweet.